In this video, we're going to be looking at translations. So translations is a fancy mathematical word to mean moving. So all I'm going to be doing is picking up this shape and moving it somewhere else on the grid. There is no rotation in it, there's no reflection, there's no enlargement. The shape should not change. So all that has happened is that it has moved somewhere else. Now the key is in how we describe that movement. Now you can do that in one of two different ways. You can either say that, for example, that I'm going to move the shape, um, let's say, five to the right, and uh, two up. So move five to the right and two up. That's a perfectly valid way of describing a translation. If you want to be more mathematical about it, and you do need to know what this looks like, and the equivalent to that, we can describe it as a translation by a vector Now a vector is a strange looking thing in square brackets. It looks almost like coordinates. And it describes it as 5 to the right is in the positive direction, so it's positive 5. And 2 is in the positive vertical direction, so it's positive 2. So 5, 2. If we were going to the left, then it would be negative 5. And if we we're going two down, it would be negative two. So this is one way of putting it, and this is the more mathsy way of putting it. So how do we actually do it? Choose a corner, so choose one of the points on the, the original shape. I'm going to choose that point there, and I'm going to move it. One, two, three, four, five to the right, and one, two, up. So just count the squares to the right, so five to the right, and then two up. That point is now up there. So from that, I can now draw the rest of the shape, because I know what the shape looks like. So I just copy what the shape looks like up here. So that would be my answer. So I've just moved it five to the right and two up. Let's instead say, uh, let's do another example. Let's say that we are going to move um, this time eight to the right. And let's go um, four down. Now, because we're going in the positive direction, to the right, it would be a positive 8 in the vector. So, translation by the vector 8 and 4 down is in the negative y direction. So, it would be minus 4. So, I take one of the corners. So, I'm going to take this one again. Go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And then I'm going 4 down. So, 1, 2, 3, 4. So this point has moved all the way over to here. Eight to the right and four down. And I just redraw the shape from that point. And that's how we deal with translations.